Cover story this month in Baltimore Magazine, How Baltimore Invented the Modern World, reviewing the people, places, and technologies that have contributed to shaping the modern world. A lot to dig into, and joining us this morning to tell us a little bit more about it is Ron Cassie, Senior Editor of Baltimore Magazine. Good morning. Good morning. This had to have been a fun project to work on. It, w it was a lot of fun. It was <laughs> a lot of work, but um, you know, if you love Baltimore, you love digging into the history of the city. Well, I'm still new. I've only been here a year, so I have a lot to learn. So I know you listed a lot of different things, but we have a top five list. So let's kind of go through these one at a time. The first one is the B&O Railroad. Uh, yeah, the B&O Railroad, I mean, we call it the, um, you know, really the true birth of the American Industrial Revolution. It, it starts everything. Um, it, it goes all the way to Ohio. It takes 25 years. And um, along with the telegraph lines, which get laid next to the railroad tracks, um, the railroads just, you know, obliterate previous notions of time and space. It's the railroads that actually create um, the time zones in the United States. Wow. Yeah, transform. So cool to look at. All right, the National Road, that's another one. Yeah, um, Route 40, right? I mean, we're on that all the time. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> it started as a dirt path to Illinois, right? Oh, okay. So, yeah, so um, Conestoga wagons, pioneers out in Cumberland, backed up, traffic jams out there. Um, you know, really the key to like settling the West. Yeah. This had to have been a fun report. All right, so the modern printing press. Uh, Otto Mergenthaler, um, Mergenthaler High School, Mervo for short in Baltimore, a German immigrant, 1880s. Uh, the Gutenberg Press had been invented like 400 years before and there had been no change since. And overnight, uh, the linotype machine, which you can see at the um, Baltimore Museum of Industry, uh, doubles literacy rates. Newspaper readership goes up 10 times in a decade. So um, you know, long, this was the internet of the day, right? Yes, yeah. it's changed a little bit over time, right? right. <laughs> Important for us too. Yeah. All right, what about uh, Irene Morgan Revels? Um, Irene Morgan, more than a decade before Rosa Parks, a Baltimore mother of two, uh, is on an interstate bus from Virginia. She'd had a miscarriage, was visiting her mother, and um, she's already sitting in the colored section of the bus when she's told she has to move back further. And it's just one of those very human moments where she says, you know, yeah. I've had it. I'm already, right? And um, she gets arrested. Um, she pleads not guilty. She's not a civil rights activist. And Thurgood Marshall, of course, another Baltimorean uh, with the NAACP, picks up her cause and um, it leads to, leads to a, a really key Supreme Court decision. All right, well, we yeah. got to cut things off there. So much good stuff left. Where can we get the magazine? Um, Whole Foods stores everywhere. It's on, it's on newsstands it's for, for another now, right? week. Yeah. Okay, we'll pick it up. If you didn't see it, this is what it looks like. And don't